brightening up Blanding Boulevard are three murals that originated from vandalism during months of nationwide demonstrations sparked by the deaths of black men and women across the country. The owners of the building, they, they agreed with the sentiment and um, how everyone was feeling throughout the country. And so they wanted to keep it. They just wanted it uh, interpreted in a more artistic way. In comes artist Chris Clark with Black Mural Map, a platform that highlights and elevates black artists and muralists. The artists say it took them nearly 200 hours to paint these murals over the course of three weeks. In a matter of minutes, they were destroyed. The cops were notified. They came out there and um, they're actually looking at it as a, a hate crime. Do you think it's a hate crime? Um, at first I just thought it was normal vandalism, but then when I saw like the pieces that they specifically uh, vandalized, like the, the word black and black mural map and like over the faces and in the eyes of some of the, um, the figures that we created. So it kind of, it looks a little bit more, um, intentional rather than just somebody just like wanting to just mess up some artwork. A block away. 40 years. That's how long Lakeshore Bicycles has been at the corner of Blanding Boulevard and Appleton Avenue. Kathy Fetzer says a few months ago they had the exterior of the building painted. And we came in about a week ago and found this graffiti on it. Pretty disappointing. An attempt to cast a dark shadow over a Jacksonville community that's come together to shine bright. So I just want to let them know that um you know, they, they didn't deter us any, you know, they, they didn't stop the progress. Um, it may be a little delayed, but we're going to um, get back to action and, and complete it. And if it happens again, and we're going to do it again. In Lakeshore, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.